It is official, J.R. Smith has signed with the Lakers today, per Adrian Woj, but was this the right signing? What's up guys, it's NBA Lou here, and for today's video, we will be discussing the signing of J.R. Smith to the Lakers, which becomes official today, and some NBA players who have had COVID-19. But before we continue on this, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So according to Walsh from ESPN, Lakers are finalizing a deal with J.R. Smith to replace Avery Bradley in season restart. Now let's talk about the pros on this. J.R. Smith fits with the Lakers system, also known as the LeBron system, where he is a standstill shooter and can create at times for himself. Uh, the number two uh, pro I have is that the chemistry is already there, it's definitely there, because they played together for about four seasons, well three and a half seasons because he came from the Knicks, but you get my point, four seasons, so to add him to the team, he won't really be a disruptor well, to like LeBron or Anthony Davis in terms of that. Now the cons, how I view it, I'm curious to know how Smith and Waiters will fit because they're both kind of like, they kind of want the ball, you know, to create. Waiters is more of a ball dominant player. Smith has later on in his career has become a standstill shooter, but I'm still kind of, you know, iffy on the little chemistry. Are they going to have any problems or anything? But that, that we'll find out. But Mr. Henny and Mr. Edibles. I just I don't I don't know if they will uh, you know if they will you know work out. Now for number two defense. Now we all know Smith on the offensive end he can hold up his end of the bargain. But Jr. Smith in the last three years has had a negative defensive plus minus, and for his career it it is at a negative point zero three. So everybody has the edge on that, and that is another negative I see in that that the Lakers defense has not improved. It actually got worse. Now for the virus update in terms of the video. Three Pelican players have COVID-19. They haven't released the names, but all we know is that three Pelican players have it. Also, Nikola Jokic has it, and a couple of people from the Nuggets facility have it. So they ended up sh shutting down their practice uh, facility. Um, also, Spencer Dinwiddie and DeAndre Jordan both have COVID-19, so they will most likely not play in the season restart in Orlando. Jabari Parker as well has it, according to Bleacher Report, but it doesn't matter because the Kings aren't going anywhere. So at least 16 out of the 302 NBA players tested positive. So yeah guys, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I informed you with some new info or a new view on things. But I hope you guys take care and peace.